Hey guys, it's Serena Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 149 on SO exam P. So we'll pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. So not gonna lie, this problem actually stumped me because there's so many things happening in here, right? But we'll, if we take it one by one, it's a little bit easier. So for example, I'm gonna assign X to be the number of accidents. So then the number of accidents is a binomial act distribution, right? Because you can either have an accident or not have an accident. With n being equal to 3, there's 3 accidents, and probability of each accident being equal to 0.25. Then because we know by binomial distribution, we know the expectation of x then is equal to n times p, which is equal to 3 times 0.25, which is equal to 0.75. And likewise, then we know the variance of x is equal to npq, which is equal to 3 times 0.25 times 0.75, which is equal to 0.5625. All right, and now let's let L be the number or the loss of each accident, right? Then we know L, the loss, is a exponentially distributed with a mean of 0.8. So expectation of L, losses of each accident, each accident is equal to 0.8. And then we know the variance is just equal to mean squared. So that's going to be equal to 0.8 squared, which is equal to 0.64. Let's let y be the unreimbursed, reimbursed loss due to each accent. Then because we know that 70% is um, re in reimbursed, we know the unreimbursed part is 0.3. That's going to be 0.3. Y is equal to 0.3 times L. Then we know that the expectation of Y is equal to 0.3 times the loss, which is 0.8, which is equal to 0.24. And likewise, the variance of Y is equal to the variance of 0.3L. When you take that 0.3 out, it becomes 0.3 squared variance of L, so that's equal to 0.3 squared times 0.64, which is equal to 0 0.0576. And finally, we're going to let T be the total unreimbursed. Total is just through all the accidents added up together. And what are we actually looking for? Oh, we're looking for the variance of the total unreimbursed loss. So we're looking for the variance of t by the conditional variance formula. We can break this down into the expectation of variance of t given the number of accidents plus the variance of expectation of t given x accidents as well. Okay, so let's look at the inside. Like for example, exit value of t given x. So it's saying, what is the expected value of the total unreimbursed parts given that there are x accidents, right? Because x is the number of accidents. So intuitively, because we know that it's independent, let's say there's like six accidents. Then we know that the total unreimbursed part given that there is six accidents is going to be six times the expected value of each accident. Does that kind of make sense? But we, we don't know what x is. So we can just say this is equal to x. I hope that kind of makes sense intuitively. So like likewise, if we know the variance of each accident and they're giving asking you, so what is the variance of total unreimbursed accident given that there are like, let's say like seven accidents? then we know that it's going to be, given that it's independent, it's going to be seven times variance of each accident. But in our case, seven is going to be just x because we don't know how many accidents are going to be. So it, it looks like this now, right? K keeping the outside shell on here. We know what variance of y is. It's right here, 0 0.0576 times x plus the variance of x times expected value of y, that's going to be equal to 0 0.24. When you take out the 0 0.24, it just becomes 0 0.24 squared because this is in the variance world and we have to bring it back to regular people world. Variance of x 
plus, same thing, but when I take this one out, it just becomes a constant. X with the value of x. So, and then now we know 5, 7, 6. I just expect the value of x, where x is the number of accident, is going to be equal to 0.75. And 0.24 squared, that variance of x, is going to be equal to 0.5625. So then this is equal to 0 0.0756, which is our answer, B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.